Hello and welcome. Today is a Wednesday, 16th day of August 2017. Welcome. My name is Derek. Let's go over Bitcoin. Just a few time frames. The daily, the hourly, 15 minute charts. Let's get started. This a breakout, which I've talked a lot about since it's happened, had this nice sideways with a small upward bias move in here, which is you go up, you got to just correct it some way. This was a cool, interesting one. Four consecutive days up, but it has had yesterday's down day where it tested 38. Today, we can see it tested the lower levels. It is rallying towards the top part of this range as it's playing through. So it's looking uh, pretty good as if this thing uh, could just easily extend to some higher numbers, possibly, or more favorably, or favorite, more than 50% likelihood to occur. If we look at the move today, 3.64% gain, but the difference from high to low is a little over 400 points, 440. That works out to a little over 10% volatility. And this is just like a whatever kind of a move. So 20% days are most certainly always in place. They're not the favorite, but heck, at any single time, they most certainly can come in 2300 to 2900. That was better than 20%. But 20% at this stage, if it were to happen, would be a break above the 5,000 handle. As I'm just basically stating, I'm not just not using 20% for whatever, it's just an easy uh, number, that wild moves can have wild plays, basically. Okay, let's move on to the 60 minute time frame. And in this uh, situation in here, the sideways correction since the 14th, with the high at 4,400 being established, it's in that area now. But you've had this low in here. We also can see that uh, this high, well, it was lower here. This one was higher, and this one here. So you have this symmetrical triangle. And usually these things resolve themselves in the path of least resistance and the case again. And oftentimes you have decent sized moves and we can see, oh yeah, she did just that. So let's now move this on to the five minute time frame. And if I said five, I meant to, or yeah, I meant to say 15. That's what this one is. And a few things in which I see in here, like I state, whenever the breakout of the symmetrical triangle or any type of neutral pattern comes into play don't be surprised to see big moves so within a half an hour it goes from the low 40 100s and makes it up to the low 40 300s that's a 200 basis point move or about five percent really quickly okay how you doing since that point this correction i really find this interesting because of where it didn't go it went to 4230 but it didn't go to 4200 Oftentimes, you're going to come back to where you came from. This is 4,200. It didn't, at least not as of yet, it hasn't done it. I like since this move, you have a push up to the 18 average of highs within this higher low. You're now uh, at the point where it's breaking that previous high, which is also this resistance level field. So it looks as if this might be poised, ready to really have that break. And uh, what we were seeing on the uh, more longer term chart within this uh, move here, this, this being back to the daily chart again. So we'll see how the movements uh, do play out as it uh, comes in. But we can see with this low at 3,800, I can quickly drop some uh, Fibonacci upside uh, targets. And using, of course, the high and the low of 44 and 38, I use the formula of high divided by low, so 44 divided by 38 to the root of 1.618, and then I multiply the low again, and then the number comes to 4,817, and a down target is to the root of negative 0.618. So that's the uh, key level. Now talking about these points, they uh, often get pierced extra, which opens the door to 5,000, and it's also an area where it just is, a, you can look back and yeah, that's a key area. And well, I've been talking a lot about the mid to high 4,000, uh, 4050 to 4100 with three different uh, time frames. It was short, mid, and long term that's shown it. And this is back to the hourly chart. 
And in that situation, it did pierce above 40, like 4,100 uh, to 44. But uh, the 40, like around around here, which was its mark, you can see was an area which was the key level. But any of these areas would work like there. But and these were the points where it traded within. It wasn't the lowest end of the range, nor was it the highest. And oftentimes I've noticed these key levels will do that in accordance to such. So within the 4,800 level, it wouldn't surprise me if on the next leg higher, that after the markets uh, correct its gains, that you'll see some sort of sideways action around 48. So thank you for tuning in and have yourself a magnificent day. Bye-bye.